It was, it was quite hard when the club were in the first division, if I'm honest. I think um, you, you love the big games um, and the fact that we were, we were struggling to get out of this championship was, was difficult. And, it was, and, and you worry as an employee as well because you think, right, OK, we've gone to the championship. To be fair, they've, they, the club's done really well. They've, they've maintained the level of staff that they have, but it's always in the back of your mind that, you know, if we stay down, this could affect me. It could affect my livelihood. Um, it could affect a number of things at the club. Um, so, yeah, it, it is challenging for, for all the staff. And I think that's something that the fans don't really appreciate because we've got families too, you know, that, that we have to look after. I'm a single parent and I have been for a long time. Um, so um, it's important to me that, that I can put food on the table for my kids. I think we had played Ross County in the final of the League Cup that year. We lost a goal in the final minute, which was heartbreaking. And it's heartbreaking for everybody. Looking, at, looking back on that now though, everything happens for a reason, Barry. I really believe that. And I think if we'd won that game, we might not have won the Scottish Cup, but that's a different story. Um, because we had a game against Inverness. Because if, if, if they hadn't scored that goal, it would have gone to extra time, which would have possibly meant the players were more tired uh, for that cup replay against Inverness on the Wednesday, which is why I think we won. Um, however, all the Hibstead stuff had started to hit the papers. And you know how I feel about this club. And, and, and to lose a cup final, to get so far, there's nothing worse, you know, and you think, why, you know? Then I went to Falkirk on the Friday night before the Scottish Cup final. And um, again, we have it. We lost that. We lost that goal um, in injury time, was it, or the last minute, or whenever it was. I, it's irrelevant. But I couldn't take the heart. I couldn't. I, I drove back from Falkirk that night, and the tears were just like streaming at my face. I couldn't stop because I was thinking this is just not fair. Because I knew how hard this group of players had worked, and I knew what a good side they were. Um, and the following morning, I met my friend for a coffee and I went, I can't go, I can't go to that Scottish Cup final. I can't watch my team getting beat again. It's too, it's too hard, it hurts too much. And then Greg Mailer, funnily enough, came in with his partner uh, to, the, to the store. And, he saw, and, and, uh, and to, in fact, where was it? We were in Ocean Terminal, we were at Starbucks. Oh, sorry, I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> we're at Starbucks and Greg came in with Vicky and um, he was like, oh, come on, we'll win this cup. And I'm like, I was so down. I don't think I've been so down for a long, long time. And, and the Hibstead thing was really getting to me. Um, so I, I honestly thought about not going, but as the week kind of went on and the hype around the club and stuff like that, and I thought, you know, go. It was different that year because I'm really superstitious, right? Or I can be. And I, and, I, and I kept coming up with ways because this elusive Scottish Cup, I was thinking, we're never going to win this trophy. What can I do that's different <laughs> this year that might make a difference? In my head, because in nobody else's head, I'm the one that's superstitious. And um, I decided that I wasn't, I, I was asked to work for the club. I was asked, can you run a bus? And I went, no, this year I'm actually going to drive and I'm going to take, go with my family. And instead of sitting in the south stand, I decided to go behind the, the goals with the boys. <laughs> because, one, because I love the atmosphere, if I'm honest. But two, I thought maybe change your luck. You know, change something you do, it might change the luck. When that goal went in, oh my God. <laughs> 